everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, it would it would be appreciated highly. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing some fabric painting, but first I need to dye these tote bags. I've never done fabric painting before, but I basically thought to myself that if I had a kind of a more coloured background to work on, it might be easier to correct any mistakes. So I just took my mum's Pyrex dishes and filled them with a bunch of ink to dye these um, like fabric canvas bags in. I decided to go for like three kind of very simple colours. I wasn't trying to make any like fancy patterns or anything. So I just went for purple, yellow and kind of like a mint green. I don't know why I throw the blue dye in the yellow bowl because I put yellow in it. Unless I was going to do blue and then I changed my mind. But it's yellow we're working with as you can see we're working with mint green on orangey yellow sort of color and purple now the thing is i wanted these to be very light and for some reason that's not very light i mean like this one is and the next one is but the purple one was definitely a lot darker than expected and it kind of had to i had to change my idea accordingly to this I, yeah, I don't, I don't. I think in my head when I was doing this, I was like, "Oh yeah, the purple one's definitely gonna get, like, it's gonna wash out. It'll be lighter. It'll be fine." That was wrong. Why did I? And never mind. It's never mind. Anyways, so we have kind of, <laughs> we have this yellow sort of color, which doesn't look very nice um, in the actual dye bowl. The purple one looks the nicest. Like it just like, I kind of want to eat it. Like it kind of looks like cherry aid. But like purple cherry aid. That makes no honestly that made no sense to anybody. I'm just rambling. Ignore me. Anyways, um, I've never done fabric paint before, so I bought this set of Jacquard textile paints. I don't know. I bought a kind of neutral set and in case I want to do like animals and things, and then a more kind of colourful set that's basically just the kind of secondary and primary colours. I mean, technically it's primary. I would have preferred magenta over red and I would have preferred cyan blue over sapphire blue but it's fine that like I can just add other colours to make them a bit brighter if I need to. Um, so basically these are very simple instructions on the back here. I thought you'd be able to see it but you can't really see it in the video. It's basically just the fact that you can water these down slightly which is the same with like any sort of paint that you get. So I decided to pick a variety of colours and make myself up a little custom palette to work with just so then I wasn't always opening these up because again I've never had these before I don't know how long they like dry out in because I know a lot of paints that come in these tubs they have a tendency to get dry very fast um, so as you can see I'm just mixing myself up a little custom palette I'll let you enjoy the, the swirliness I enjoyed the swelliness. Anyways, that sounds weird. Um, here's my full custom palette. As you can see, I've got some greens, some pinks, some oranges, um, and a few like neutral tones thrown in there. And obviously, I'm doing flowers. <laughs> I don't know what it is about flowers. I never used to do them, and then I went to sixth form, and then for some reason, I found an extreme love of adding flowers into probably every single project I did. I don't know, I like them. They're very like organic shapes as well. Like every flower is different in some way. So like if you do like a rose slightly off to like another rose, you're not really going to be like, oh, that's not a rose. Like if it's similar shaped and colours and things like that, you tend to just think it is, if that makes sense. Like they're very simple in their composition. I didn't mention, I wrote it in the, like, the little like thing, I was rambling about organic shapes. Um, the green bags are both going to be these kind of pink roses. And for some reason, I didn't film a lot of clips of me doing that. 
I think it's mainly because right now when I'm like filming this video, I'm sat on the floor. Like I have a perfectly good desk. I mean, I say I'm sat on the floor where I'm filming this. I'm sat on the floor right now while I'm doing the audio. I don't know why. I have a perfectly good desk and a chair and everything, but I'm just like, no, I must sit on the floor with this tiny little stool. It's like, it's no bigger than a 30 centimeter ruler, like lengthwise. And it's even smaller, like the width. I'm just painting these small little tote bags, like hunched over with my little lamp. I don't know why. I honestly, I have a desk and I say that I'm sat on the floor. I, the floor, who else does this? Like who else sits on the floor while they're like painting and like just doing things in general, just prefers to sit on the floor or just randomly will end up on the floor. Like you sit on your desk intentionally and then you just end up on the floor. Does anybody else do that? Anyways, never mind. Okay, some like actual art talk or like whatever it is I say. Basically, I'm going in with like the darker tones and I'm just working outwards, getting gradually lighter as I go. I, what? That wasn't a word. This is basically what I do for like the whole of the piece. Like it's just going from dark to light and creating some very simple depth and shading and stuff. And the same goes for the flowers and the petals and everything like that. That is basically the base that I decided to work on. Once that was done, I went in with detail with some darker tones and lighter tones, making some more kind of shading and creases in the petals and things. And I used a stippling brush to add some texture to the middle of the sunflowers. And obviously I just used light and dark colours on the roses to make the depth. I didn't film a lot of this. Um, I think it's mainly because of where I was sat when I was doing it. And also because I was focusing so much on doing these well. As you can see, like one of the flowers of both designs is a lot softer. And the next one's a lot kind of more defined. I think I prefer the more defined ones. But I do like them all in general. I think for my first time at fabric painting, it was quite a good attempt. Um, as, yeah, as you can see, like this one's a lot more defined and it's got a lot more kind of like shape to it. I'd say like in a bit dark colours. Whereas this one, I kind of was a bit more soft handed with it. The ones that are a bit more softer, I think the ones I did first because I was so worried about getting it wrong. And then the dark ones like these ones are the ones that I did afterwards. I definitely do like these ones, I think just because they are more kind of like, they look more defined and stand out a bit more, but I do like them all as a whole. I think they all look really good together. And like I was saying, like they all are very, very different, but they all look like good in their own ways, if that makes sense. For my first time at fabric painting, I definitely think that this was, this was good. Yeah, look, I do have a desk. They're on the desk right now, but yeah, don't do anything on the desk. Anyways, rambling again. Um, thank you for watching, if you've watched all this way through. I hope you have a nice day, stay safe. And if you do enjoy these videos and you'd like to see more, please do subscribe and turn notifications. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. And also, what type of videos you'd like to see.